all right everyone um good morning good morning and uh, welcome you all to the all things tightness uh, session the okay five more seconds and we will begin uh, smart rug lag rahe hai chacha thanks manish all right okay we can start now um so let's go oh where is it okay all things tightness i hope uh, my slides are visible can you guys please let me know if it is the handsome me will be back in uh, uh, in some time but the slide should be visible okay uh yes so this is the problem uh, uh okay fine i think we are on time so uh, people who missed the call miss the call so we'll begin okay um this is not uh, automatically taking in people after uh, maybe in in 5 minutes i'll check back again and let people in okay all right so let's begin all things tightness uh what i'm <clears throat> what i want to discuss in this session is uh, basically the goals of the session session if i may is uh, to teach you everything about tightness like from a to z it's this is not going to be a half baked uh, session where i will only uh, you know like touch upon a, a here and there and not everything this is going to be everything on tightness uh, why what where how when it will answer every questions okay the second is also to show you that you can actually use one click scanners tools dashboard whatever you want to call them to find the tight areas okay and uh, what is the corollary to that the corollary to that is basically you don't have to spend 2 3 hours going through 1000 stocks to find the tightness now i'm not saying that that's not a good thing to do if you are a beginner and you want to look at more charts that is how everyone should do it spend time more with charts but if you already know what you are looking for you can basically code them into a scanner okay so let not your lack of skills in coding uh, 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 make you do the hard work if if scan if tightness is all you want then there are one click scanners and i'm going to show you all of them today um the third is also to let you know that scanners are overrated um yeah and this is true and i'm not i'm not kidding many of you guys might think that i'm kidding when i say scanners are overrated scanners are, scanners are truly overrated okay and and i'll also discuss uh, why i say that and stick around for the end um, so what is scan, what is tightness and um, and um, how tight is tight right so first of all what is sir what is tightness so tightness is basically a sideways price action inside a tight range for x days okay so there are two things here uh, which uh, is very up in the air like which is not described properly sideways price action inside a tight range okay so the question then is how tight is tight the second question is what is this x bars like tight range for one day one bar tight range for three bars tight range for five bars or do you really need tightness for like 50 bars okay so those are the two things now range first let's come to range uh, range actually depends on the uh, time frame and intrinsic character of the stock so for example if there is an intrinsic characters are basically market cap and mostly uh, what is something called an atr so atr stands for average true range or adr also is fine average daily range <coughs> these two things depend upon how tight is tight okay now for example uh, if there is a if there is a if there is a large cap stock which is getting tight inside a 4% range okay is that tight enough because because large caps generally don't move that much okay now uh, if there is another stock which is like a small cap or a micro cap which is now getting tighter in a very small range let's say 3% 4% now that is tight right so that is where intrinsic character of the stock uh, comes and more importantly atr so in general uh, to objectify this this how tight is tight 
what one can use is the ATR of the stock. So let's say if the tightness is almost around or less than 1x ATR, okay. So ATR again, like I said, stands for average true range and I'll show you all of this uh, in, a, in a moment. Now, if it is around 1x ATR, that is really tight in my opinion. And it's not just my opinion. Many people believe 1x ATR is really tight. And I'll, and I'll show you uh, in a couple of, couple of slides later. Now, let's move on to the second thing. Second non-objective up in the air thing here. In what is tight? A tight is a sideways price action inside a tight range and X bars. Now, X bars money kitna for how long should it be tight in that range? The, the, so minimum in my opinion is two bars. Um, of course, one bar is also there and you can still trade. Uh, one can still expect uh, momentum coming after something is gets tied after two bar, one bar. But minimum in my opinion, like decent has to be two bars. Three to five is decent. Okay. So um, now it depends on the time frame and why I did not say days here bars because this tightness again, everything in markets and life is uh, mostly um repeating right in in every time frame in every scale so uh, markets are fractal so this tightness you can find in days weeks um minutes right so that's why i'm saying bars so okay so i hope uh, this explains what is tightness and uh, once i once it'll be more clear once we look at a lot of examples now okay Quickly, quick detour, uh, everything in uh, technical analysis is interconnected. And so if you have uh, one, you know, concept, that concept should tie up in some other concept. So basically, what is VCP? Uh, VCP is basically increasing tightness from left to right. Simple as that, right? Now, this is one of the most important slides, one of the most important question. Does tightness mean? that the trade will definitely work you know does tightness mean that after tightness the stock will definitely break out of the tight region on the upside the simple answer is nope no 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 okay so does that mean that more the tightness more the chances of breakout like for example let's say something is uh, getting tight uh, more than one atr and there is something which is getting tight 1.5 times the ATR. Does it mean that the one getting more tighter will have a ch more chances of breakout? No. So then what, what is the craze of this tightness, bro? That's the question, right? So what, what, what does tightness do? So tightness basically does is it provides a very tight zone to manage your risk. Now tight zone money, small range, small range money, small stop loss. Small stop loss money, it allows you to put up a big size. Big size with a small stop, stop loss is basically a very happy swing trader, you know. So that is why, uh, so position size is khas, baki uh, tab nahi hota hai, sab hota hai, baki sab bakwas, hai na? Um, So the first time I heard this was from Ish Mohit Arora from SYZ and so um, remembering him because uh, what, uh, what a great spell yesterday, uh, right? So yeah so basically because it allows tightness allows us to position our sizes like fat positions and that is why uh, we all seek tightness it, and and yeah so that is the only thing uh, tightness does not definitely mean a trade will work okay so this is a very beginner level uh, 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 misconception about tightness all right let's move on Scanning for tightness. Okay, before I before I get to the meat of the stuff, which is basically to tell you how how uh, one can uh, with a one click scan for tightness and also explain uh, each and everything what I'm what I'm coding and why I'm coding. I would like to spend thirty seconds to tell you uh, something. Just just scanning for tightness is not enough. What you need is prior uptrend, prior uptrend, and prior uptrend. What you need more is prior uptrend and some more of prior uptrend right so scanning for for tightness uh, without prior uptrend will give you a lot of stocks which uh, are simply 
not relatively strong. So there is always a hierarchy, right? But tightness is not going You need to have strong stocks. So strong stocks, tightness. Strong stocks, low risk. Strong stocks, higher position, fatter position. Okay. So that is why we should scan for tightness, but also scan for um, along with it uh, 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 an element of relative strength. Relative strength kaha se aayega? Relative strength will come with prior uptrend. So I'll take a quick break here and let some more people in if they are still interested to join. Okay. I hope everyone is with me in the call here and uh, everyone uh, is uh, uh, enjoying the session as much as I am enjoying to talk to you about uh, this. Uh, all right. So admit all. Let's go. All right, uh, welcome everyone to the session and uh, you've missed about 10 minutes of the session, uh, which should be fine because the meat of the session is, uh, I'm gonna speak now, which is how to scan for tightness, all right? Okay, let's get into it. All right, so, um, very quickly, Goal of the session was to teach you everything about tightness, show you how you can with one click scanners and tools find tightness and why scanners are overrated. I haven't got to that part yet. What is tightness? Tightness is a very sideways price action inside a tight range for X bars. There are two things you have to describe here. What is that range? And the range is best described with ATR and also like general range, 2%, 3%, 4%. And the second thing is how tight, how for how long X bars, minimum two, decent is three to five. What is VCP? VCP is increasing tightness from left to right. Simple as that. Does tighten mean a trade will definitely work? No. Does more tightness, more chances of breakout? No. Then why is the craze about tightness? Because tightness allows you to have a tight zone to manage your risk. Tight zone means small SL. Small SL means big size. Big size means happy swing trader. And uh, that allows you to have a bigger position size. Before scanning for tightness, also make sure you just don't are looking for tightness. You are not just looking for tightness. You are also looking for prior trend, prior uptrend, relative strength. Okay. Now, scanning for tightness. Numero, numero uno. The number one way to scan for tightness is, like I said, the, the range is less than 180R. Okay, now I want to look at you when I when I when I'm telling you that the range of the tightness is less than 180R. Couple of quick examples. All things right, Homa. Um, let's go to Scheffler India. Okay, so Scheffler India, as you can see, is a really tight price action. Okay, now let's let's say uh, there are two elements to it. One is how tight, and how tight is this? From the top of the uh, uh, the candle to the to the bottom of this uh, tight zone, 4.94 percent tight. All right. The second thing is how 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 long is that tight zone? Six bars. Is six bars good enough? Yes, it's good enough. Okay. But now, like I said, this 4.94 is very arbitrary. Is 4.94 tight enough? So, like I said, so you have to bring in ATR to tell you this okay so if you bring in it yeah uh, all right wait where is it Ooh. okay hold on why is my ATR not showing up uh, Yes, I'm back. All right, so if you see here, the ATR in, I think this is a 10 day ATR. So ATR also is average true range. So that there is a word called average. So average of how many last days, right? So I think what I plot here is a ATR 10 days. So ATR 10 days, 4.41%. Now, what's the ratio of 4.41 divided by 4.94? It is very close to one, okay? So that is why this is tight. Okay. Now, if there is a tight, if there is a large cap stock whose ATR average true range movement on a single day is around 1% to 1.5%, having an, a large cap uh, a tight in a range of 5% is not too tight, brother. 
sorry brothers and sisters but because this is not a not a slow moving stock it's a moving it's a stock which moves on an average 4.4 percent in a in a 10 day time period or it has in the time 10 day time period this guy is very tight okay so this is the first way to scan for tightness range is less than 180 r now let me show you in the scanner so this scanner is okay not this this scanner is uh, uh, is my uh, range is less than 80 r scanner so in this what i'm what i've done is pehleto i will show you exactly one by one what i what i have in here okay now this is uh, from charting if people don't know here charting is uh, one of the best uh, uh, scanning tools in the indian market very low key really uh, amazing so so I'm scanning for stocks in Nifty 500 because um, that's the my my stock universe. You can also choose to um, choose to not scan 500, but just scan Nifty 50 or FNO stocks or whatever you like, or even if like the whole cash market, which is the whole uh, NSE listed market, right? But let's say uh, Abhi, for now uh, CNX 500. Okay. So like uh, in Prelude, what I said that you need a, uh, you need a prior uptrend. So what I'll do is I'll say prior uptrend. So this is my prior uptrend ki uh, minimum 50 din mein 25 percent, 100 day mein 50 percent, 200 day mein uh, 100 percent, 10 day mein 20 percent, 20 day mein 20 percent. If these guys have this, then only I want that stock. Okay, so I, if I run that, uh, if I run that, I see that there are only 28 stocks in the Nifty 500 universe, which, uh, which basically. Uh, satisfy my criteria let's get some more let's go to cash about 878 stocks in cash has a prior uptrend okay which is almost half of the market now i because i'm scanning for cash what i also need is i want some liquidity filters because uh, because 50 percent of the of the cash stocks do not have the liquidity for um, uh, in general you know for trading so what i do is i put on the liquidity criteria saying that that's rupiah se niche nahi chahiye mere ko market gap hazar hazar crore se niche nahi chahiye mere ko plus if on a daily uh, uh, level if it is not trading some x uh, crores uh, and this x crores uh, probably this is not x crores um, some lakhs but if you want to because you have a bigger uh, uh, bigger portfolio size you can increase a smaller portfolio size decrease okay so this is my uh, very normal liquidity criteria and i'm saying that let's run it 878 stocks run it 573 so what i've essentially done is already with two clicks thoda sa apna scanning universe my my universe is now like a little bit shrunk now right like 25 percent of the whole NSC. Now let's go. Let's go. It's, it's gonna get better now. Now what I do is I'll click this on. In here what I have said is in three day time frame like in the last three days the tightness should be less than the three day ATR or in three day time frame like the, the three day range like uh, should be less than 14 day ATR three day range should be uh, if if the three day range is uh, smaller than 20 day ATR also mere ko dikha wo stock if in the five day range is uh, less than 14 day ATR I want that stock if the five day range is less than 10 10 day ATR I want that stock if the five day range is less than 20 day ATR I want that stock okay so stock passes any of this criteria below mere ko dikha now from 573, if you now run this scanner, you will find 81 stocks which are very tight. Okay. Now, from here, you need to go one by one and look at which are the tightest stocks. So, if, since we don't have that kind of time, what I'll do is I'll further shrink this 81 stocks to uh, to a lesser number by saying that by cash money, just nifty 500 me dikhalo. So, if you run this you will find 36 stocks which are which have liquidity which has prior uptrend and which are also now really tight really really tight okay and then if you uh, if we if you just uh, copy this copy this uh, list uh, 36 stocks to trading view and i've already done that for you 
these tops these these stocks are the tightest stocks let's go through them one by one jubilant food works this is the three day tightness okay solar industries omizing tightness more than 10 days um chambal fertilizers five days tightness omizing shefler we've already showed you lind india one two three four five five day tight in this small area and uh, also looks like uh, inverse head and shoulder um, okay those things we'll not discuss right now we just focus on tightness pfc very tight cg power tight three days tight master has been tight 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 after this initial uh, you know it day um, the day it sort of uh, broke out of the of the reversal gsfc amazingly five days tight flag prior of trend tight volumes like and then buy before breakout is also here hv del tight irfc tight ratnamani tight symphony tight i mean this is tight um rec tight irv tight and this i don't like it but still because it's four day tight it's uh, coming in the scanner brigad tight ashok leland tight hindustan aeronautical limited very tight bdl amazingly tight someone also shared this on the group um, knr tight tight so so this is one uh, name which i was uh, which i actually because this was one two three day tight i entered on the breakout of this tightness thoda sa chala and then it did not so uh, i sort of uh, i'm out of this trade but what it allowed me to do is if if need be this was the this was the uh, uh, stop loss for me right so that's what that's what uh, it does uh, engineers india really tight um let's not talk about ptm chola mandalam tight cochin shipyard tight torrent power tight arani green tight although i don't like this but it's still tight okay now so that is basically the numero uno number one way you can range you can scan for tightness now uh, as i said to you does more tightness mean more chances of breakout no so if you want to find more stocks then you can also probably change this 1 atr to whatever 1.5 if you like you know so for if you want to do that you just have to um you just have to uh, modify this 1.5 okay anyways let's move on i just want to check on you guys so that you guys are still with me um yes looks like 89 people are still with me not bad hey uh, yeah, 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 yeah. all right so so admit all yeah 101 people are still with me let's fucking go all right the next the next way to scan for tightness is scan for range okay so for get atr you just want to you just want to scan for stocks which are tighter than x percent so this x percent could be 2 percent if you want to save it tight 1 percent if you want to save it tight you can you can just put whatever number of uh, 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 tightness you want right that's that's basically why um, uh, once you once you know what tightness and all is so for that i will bring you guys to this scanner this is scanner already shared with everyone here um so again this is the prior of trend criteria liquidity criteria and what criteria we have here is that we let's say we want to have all stocks which are in the 5 day time period less uh, tighter than 4% okay i'm going to repeat you again repeat this again 4% range in 5 days with well 5 days okay not 4 days not 3 days 5 days i want 5 days tightness so now let's run this come on charting come on charting come on charting all right something might be wrong um doing this again i want this and 
run scan. Yes. So if you see, um, only nine stocks fulfill my criteria. You've already seen Solar Industries, uh, Mass Tech, Bajaj, Torrent Power. There are some new names, Balkistan Industries and something, something. Okay, so let's, again, the same thing. You copy to Trading View and then paste it, which I've already done for you. So these are the new names, tightness, which did not come in the earlier criteria, which was less than one, one ATR. So again, saying that does less than one, one ATR always means that they, they are the better stocks? No, okay? So that's why we need some more uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, tightness selection criteria. So Hero Motor Corp, like, like it's evident from here, from this day till this day, it has been, you know, uh, getting tighter in a very tight range. Um, volumes are starting to come up, a reversal is on the cards, you know. Uh, DV's lab, DV's lab is also tight. You see prior uptrend, prior uptrend and going sideways. And if this, if this range breaks out, that's a good place to, that could be a good trade and a good place to, uh, the tightness will allow you to have a smaller stop loss. Balakrishna Industries, one, two, three, four, five days of peak tightness. Glenmark Pharma, very similar, five, six days of peak tightness. Bajaj Electricals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days of tightness. Uh, squ uh, uh, fake out. SJVN, also another uh, very good tight stock, okay? Now, that is the second way you can scan for tightness. You can, you can whatever kind of range you like, you can change here. Uh, is 4% not too tight for you? Go for two percent. If five days uh, less for you, go for seven, ten, whatever, right? But these are the most commonly uh, used, right? Now, what is the sec what is the third way of tightness? A scanning for tightness. Now, scanning for tightness. Now, these are like basic two ways. Is these two? Now, little bit how other people in the market already used tightness. Now, the third way is called narrow range. Narrow range is basically. The, there are so many indicators also for narrow range. Narrow range basically tells you that, so the two most important, uh, two most widely used is narrow range five and narrow range seven. What these two means is that, today's candle, let's say Saregama, today's candle is the narrowest range in the last five days. So that is basically your narrow range candle. And there are so many other, uh, like I said, indicators freely available for this. So if you see, um, okay, maybe this is not the very uh, correct uh, this one. So let's let's uh, let's scan for that. Um, I will switch this off and say so. This is narrow range seven, okay. So which means that the today's candle is the narrowest range in the last seven days. So if I scan for this, you will find forty-one stocks whose range today is is uh, narrower than the last seven candles. So that also basically uh, gives you what? That gives you VCP, right? So like the range is, the range which is basically tightness is, is the smallest from left to right. So that's again, they're tying things up, okay? Tying, I'm just tying things up for you. Um, narrow range seven and narrow range five generally if you if you just look at the narrowest range, it's not very useful. You should also you should also look for that the whole range itself is tight. So, for example, if I use this um, and thoda size for, I will uh, relax these numbers. I'm saying that in general, six percent tight. 6% tight, 4% tight in three day, and, and then run for this, you will find that there will be better stocks. 15 stocks, which are in general in the last three to three, five, seven time period is tight, and today's candle is the tightest. And uh, this is deadly combination, brother, brothers and sisters. Copy to clipboard, let's look at them. Um, I will just open up a different, uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Worksheet, worksheet called there. So this were these five names were also one of the tightest in last week, and which I also posted on Twitter and see what happened. Uh, D D P Abushan broke out. 
Schwann did not broke out. Schwann never triggered. This was the tight area which I liked at the mouth of the resistance. Uh, did not break out. A uh, moil did break out, but uh, 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 was a squat. All India broke out eventually. Wokard also broke out. Okay, so this 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 is what uh, uh, you can also. I mean, this this is what it becomes very helpful. Okay. Anyways, going back to what we were discussing, we were discussing narrow range, narrowest range in the already tight list. Okay. So Lind India, you can see that today's this range is the lowest in the last five days. Plus also in the five days already the the whole range is tighter. Uh, same thing with Biocon. So in the three days, this is the this is the near narrowest range. Grindwell Norton, narrowest range in the last possibly five five days five uh, bars endurance tech like see endurance tech uh, really tight okay really tight so last three days the tightness is basically basically five percent i mean yeah 4.4 atr five percent tight, like tight basically tight ltfh uh, this is narrowest range narrowest range bajaj auto ratnamani narrowest range narrowest range Bajaj electric narrowest range okay uh, so this this two percent stop loss people basically uh, uh, they they really like this this narrowest range concept because generally what they add here again on top of that is that saying that not only I want narrowest range but also the na the range the daily range should be the daily range should be less than one percent okay so they they are not only getting tight range they are not only getting the 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 tightest uh, this one but they are also getting okay i will like i probably will code it later the narrowest range is also less than 2% so in that case what happens is that they can they can use a stop loss which is like really tight less than 2% okay so this is the third way to scan for narrow range just checking people are still there with me yes cool all right Let's move on. Numero four, tight close. Now this is another way, another concept people have been using to scan for tightness. So one very important, I mean not important, but famous uh, tight close is three weeks tight close. Right? So what three weeks tight close basically tells you is that if the if the close, let's go to week. Um, okay, let's go to scanner first. So Isco, I'll I'll close this. I'll close this, and now we will go to weekly tight three weeks tight okay so basically three weeks tight uh, kya bol rahe ki the, the 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 closing the weekly closing is within 1.5 percent of previous week's closing and the previous week closing was 1.5 within 1.5 percent of the previous to previous week's closing okay this will be more clear when i run this scan and show you so here three names Bal Krishna Industries, IRFC and Saregama Pa have come have this uh, three week tight close. Okay, now you can also do this three days tight close. It just because no one has popularized three days tight close doesn't mean that you cannot run it. It's just that IBD and um, uh, Mr. William O'Neill really popularized three weeks tight close and uh, people scan for it. But you can also scan for three days tight close. You can also scan for 10 day tight close. Okay, that's that's the concept I'm trying to teach you here. Anyways, let's go and look at what is three day tight close means. Bal Krishna B I S. Okay, let's go. Where is where is the all things tightness? Yayo, not this. All things. He would say. All things tight. So the the first name was Vicky. Let's go to the weekly chart, and this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you see this week's close at three thousand two hundred and seven, the next week close is within zero point six nine percent of the previous week's close. How do I know? You just uh, look at this 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 number. Okay. Uh, this close was also 1.21% within the previous week close. The next week, 0 0.6. This week, 0 0.34. So this is very tight. This is like closing tight. This is what three weeks close scans for. Okay. 
all right let's move on b i s what was i um what was i e i r f c i r f c i r f c i r f c not sure i r f c see i r f c is four weeks tight this closing this close and this close are 0.7 percent different this close 0.8 this close is 1.42 right so this is like three weeks tight like four weeks he bold there you know and uh, then another one is uh, saregamapa saregamapa three weeks tight four weeks tight this this two are like one week two week three weeks tight anyways so that's that's what the three weeks tight closing uh, is uh, helps you to scan for tighter stocks now this is this is tighter in a weekly time frame it's still tightest type because uh, things are fractal all right let's go and look at the fifth way you can scan for tightness inside bars now this is again very um what is the word very famous uh, for uh, very famous uh, amongst tightness traders inside bars inside bars so inside bar is nothing but uh when a bar closes when a bar is housed uh completely within the previous bar okay so one good example is here triveni tri turbines had a 3.43% day here and there was the 3 3.43% but the range the daily range was ab about 6% okay it swung 6% on that day now what happened the next day it had a smaller range candle than the previous day and the whole candle was housed inside this candle so this is called an inside bar and the other the, the previous candle is called the mother bar okay uh, that itself is an inside bar now what happened very interestingly there the another bar is again an inside bar not just not just to the mother bar but to the previous bar as well so if you see the range of the previous bar was uh, 4% the next bar is actually less than 3.5% okay so this is called tandem inside bar i just made it up the name tandem inside bar you know but tandem inside bars are better than inside bars because that tells you more tightness now how can you how can you with a one click scan for this here close this open this now i have coded for tandem tandem uh, uh, tandem inside bars but you can also you can also just scan for inside bars so just inside bar ke liye you have to switch this to off two days ago wala and uh, if you now scan then you will see 57 inside bars is this helpful i am not sure so that is why you scan for tandem inside bar okay so two days two continuous days the the stock is like inside pe inside like inside pe inside and tarikh pe tarikh these two are like um, similar concepts right so try try any tight turbine i have already showed you how this looks like but let's let's look at a couple of more examples so uske liye aap aapko cash pe jana padega so you will see high tech gear shorashtra cement as cements are um, cements are looking good okay uh, paradeep phosphate this is also looking good um, e pack vava banko shall we look at all of this yes actually i will uh, open another trading view because i don't want to go back and forth uh what was that worksheet so try when we already checked let's check high tech gears mother bar inside bar i mean this is not really inside probably um, 978 978 the highs are same <laughs> 978 955 the highs are low so yeah i mean this is not an inside bar technically but very tight shorashtra this is an in tandem inside bar big bar mother bar uh, mother bar ke andar wala candle us mother bar ke andar wala candle very tight now tightness traders will love this um yeah and tightness trader will also love the fact yeah paradeep phosphate mother bar inside bar pay inside bar pay inside bar aa gaya to aur bhi maza hai na 
um, EPAC durables again this is a little extended but who cares Wabak tech inside bar uh, mother bar pay inside bar pay inside bar Banco products mother bar pay inside bar pay inside bar all right let's move on um, people are still there with me all right all right all right all right hey guys I hope you guys you are enjoying the session if you are enjoying the session can you please like put a thumbs up so that I can maintain my energy because like coffee is not there yes yes cheers 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 let's go let's go let's go okay okay I'll take questions after I finish my uh, my sm small little presentation here okay okay let's get back all right this is the fifth way to scan for inside um, tightness now the sixth way is one of my favorite ways it's called the Carter squeeze system just like the numero number one way to scan for tightness was to put a ratio of range and ATR all we are doing in the Carter squeeze system is putting instead of range like putting the range which is fixed like 3%, 5%, 6% no, no, fixed hai. Usse badia kya hai? better than that is to just say Bollinger band width now Bollinger band width will change from stock to stock so even if something doesn't come within your 4% tightness but the Bollinger band is actually tight then it will come okay so so again this Carter Swiss system is apparently a proprietary system of uh, the Mr. Carter and it, it has some elaborate rules uh, how much is tight there, there are three level of tightness um, uh, but but the tightest one is like if the BBW the, the Bollinger band width is less than 1 ATR okay similarly how we had a range less than 1 ATR if the Bollinger band is less than 1 ATR that is the tightest okay so that's very simple another way of, uh, uh, of, of do doing it and all my tightness scanner uses this criteria because I don't have to uh, set a 4%, 2%, 3% like a solid number because those number doesn't mean anything because they are all intrinsically uh, 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 linked to the character of the stock. Bollinger band width is the character of the stock and that's why I like this uh, uh, setup better. Okay, that's the only thing. So ratio of Bollinger band width is to ATR is less than 1% is, uh, le less than 1 is very tight, less than 2 is also tight. Sorry, less than two is very tight. Less than two point five uh, uh, three is also very tight. So let's let's go to the scanner now. Um, all things tight. I will switch this off. Uh, tandem IV and open the. Kya naam is ka? Carter squeeze. So here, what I'm saying is that twenty day uh, Bollinger band width is is uh, uh, the, the ratio of 20 day Bollinger width by ATR is less than 2 okay so if you run this you will find there is no 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 stock that is as tight as this so if you wanna if you wanna uh, 2.5 karte you see now that there are 10 stocks which are uh, tight okay so if you copy this and uh, And you see this will also give a lot of names which like sort of looks like uh, like VCP okay um, so Dynacons is like you know the, the tightness is decreasing from left to right uh, Jai Balaji also but again uh, this is um, like T1 T2 T3 possibly in Thermax Urja Global getting tighter at the base Inox wind uh, don't like this but again this this is also like a VCP getting tight Hindustan zinc you see Hindustan zinc ko kisi ne nahi pakda, I don't know why but this one scanner did it you know because that's why you need a lot of other different ways to attack the same problem Hindustan zinc is really tight uh, just just that the metals did not perform last week but had a the, I mean yeah if metals pick up then this would be the place to be right 
um, yeah, this is not a great setup, but that's that's how that's how that's how scanners are. Scanners will scan for what you've coded. Uh, Arvind Limited is yeah getting tighter at the left side. So this is the last way to uh, code for tightness. Okay. Uh, all right, I am almost at the fag end of my presentation. Parting thoughts. I mean, I will not part. I'll take a Q and A. But parting thoughts of this. Aye, yo, I wanted to have dramatized this. All right. Parting thoughts. Can a trader be successful without ever knowing the concept of tightness or without ever thinking about tightness in his day-to-day -day trading system? Yes. The answer is yes. It's just that tightness is one way of a trading system. In my opinion, one of the most widely, widely used ways of a trading system, especially for swing traders, right? But one can be a successful trader even without a scanner like this, even without like thinking about tightness. But if you're using this system, it's incomplete. The, the tightness itself is not a complete system, not a complete trading system, because it only answers where to buy. For a complete trading system, you have four other questions which needs to be answered and that's why we have to have a, you have to build a trading system. Now, what is a system? In a very short one minute, system is basically this. What is, a, a whole system will let you know the answer, in, let you know what is the market health, what are the, your stock selections, what is the entry tactic, how much uh, position size are you having and when, uh, where, where are you exiting. To even simplify this, the trading system should question, number one, when to trade, when the market health is bullish, what to trade, what the stock which is relatively strong, where to enter, this where to enter part is the tightness comes in, which is basically when things are very tight and then breaking out or even like pulling back uh, and, and those are other things. The, the fourth question of a system is how much to enter with, which is position size and hence risk management. And the last question, of a complete system is where to exit. So when, what, where to, how much, where to exit. So this makes a complete system, okay? So whatever I, I, I talked about is only one fourth, 20% of the system. So that brings me to the end of the presentation. I hope this was helpful to most of you and you also enjoyed listening to me as much as I enjoyed talking to you guys. I will now take questions. Right. Um, let's go to the queue. Uh, before I take questions, there. Uh, up, 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 up. I'll quickly read the names of uh, read the questions if there are any, and then uh, and then take questions. Uh, welcome, because you too. Yeah, that's fine. Can you explain with examples chart? Yes, I think I've done that. What is purple dot? No, it's not uh, Manas's uh, purple dot. My purple dot is VBB, which is buy before breakout, which basically tells you the subtle indication of, uh, of uh, buying coming in, even when the stock is not broken out inside the base. Sometimes it's helpful. So what's the meaning of tightness? Indication of accumulation. Uh, tightness basically means that uh, uh, not many people are selling after the after the uh, profit taking itna nahi ho hai. and the volume if it is less then people are not selling it only what does that mean people are not selling means that people are holding on to that stock in expectation that will buy more now there is there is a misconception that tightness means accumulation i personally don't believe so i know many big traders many big price action artists do believe the fact that uh, the presence of tightness, money accumulation, I personally don't. I just believe that it's a lack of distribution. Now, is lack of distribution means accumulation? I don't think so. Can you share the scanner? Sanjay Malji, the scanner is already shared um, if you are a reader of the technical take. So please subscribe to my freely available newsletter and then you will get the scanner. But I'll also share it here. 
why not control c all things tight scanner control v there you go um, no audio hope you will record and put it on youtube i'm not sure about that um, Garn is selling steak. Amazing. Thank you. Can you explain tightness? Yeah, tightness after the right entry point is basically tightness after an uptrend. As simple as that, you know. Um, tightness is basically sideways. Sideways is basing. Stocks only do two things at a time. They either trend or the base. So after an, after an uptrend, Newton's law of inertia, um, anything which is already in motion has a uh, uh, higher propensity to uh, move more right so if it is already on an uptrend then the stock has more propensity to go higher after a small pause and that's why tightness after the right point means that you have to have the prior uptrend Apurva please mute uh, can you please mute some disturbance uh, so see Bollinger Band uh, with ratio related is basically like this, right? So what is Bollinger Band? First you have to know that Bollinger Band band is uh, is uh, uh, so if you take the 20, 20 uh, day moving average, SMA is the band, and if you plot uh, the the diverge, uh, what is that word? Uh, the standard deviation one one time standard deviation of the 20 day sma it basically is a bollinger band now if the one standard deviation of 20 day sma is very small what does that mean in the last 20 days the price is not flailing it's not getting a big and that's why it's a proxy bollinger band width is a proxy for how tight the stock is right we know you said doesn't work in bearish so which is appropriate suitable for bearish market uh, appropriate suitable stock for bearish market ashish is whatever stock that is moving up okay uh, whatever stock in the bearish market is going up that is an appropriate stock or if you want to short then you will have a lot of lot of lot more of them can similar scanner be built in trading view because charting doesn't have bsc stocks um first i'll address you charting doesn't have bsc stocks yes charting doesn't have bsc stocks but you don't need bsc stocks in my honest opinion there are so many good stocks already in uh, nse so if if your if the bottleneck in your trading if the bottleneck if the reason for why you are not able to make money is because there are not many stocks then that's a problem then you might need bsc stock but uh, you don't need BSC stocks first of all the second is can a similar scanner be built in trading view I think I think it can because trading view has a scanner software and uh, if there is a scanner you can build one if you are not being able to build one you just don't have the skills yet uh, I don't have trading view skills uh, there's I'm sure there are a lot of others who will have the skill after after tightness exact entry point yes after tightness the moment the range is being breaking out that's how breakout traders uh, that's how breakout breakout traders uh, trade so for example I'll, I'll show a couple of my trades i'm also uh, 80 60 percent a breakout trader so for example i entered trill on this day why because this was a trite area that was getting uh, that was uh, breaking out Techno electric, I entered here. 1302 or 130, uh, yes, 1302 probably is, is my entry. And that's where I entered because one, two, three, four, five days of tightness was being broken out by the stock. Now, how to exactly enter that is a system level problem. You can design your system in such a way that you can end you can first find which stock is exactly breaking out at that time so you will have to design a system for that and that depends upon um, how much time you have available and all of the other things environment i'm sure many of you have already listened to uh, to nitin's presentation or basically have a system of what you want to do how do you scan for relative strength or find the leading sector this is out of syllabus question uh, i will probably later uh, later address this if I have more time 
hi i do not have time on a daily basis how does one enter and trade on weekly chart for the best entry yeah so you essentially scan for if 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 breakout trading is your way you essentially scan similarly for stocks which are getting tight on a weekly time frame instead of uh, instead of daily um, have have the scanner on stocks which are already uh, uh, on an uptrend and then enter on the day when that tight range is breaking out uh, one can easily make a scanner for that um, uh, the Humma Khela Hobe scanner which I have and uh, Sanjeev ji you are also part of the group uh, is a scanner which uh, scans exactly what I described prior uptrend tightness and a breakout so at the end of the day when any any stock hits uh, that scanner is a probable entry on that um, I am also using charting but I don't see copy to trading view tab uh, I think the how I have enabled this is uh, there is a small kya uh, some 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 link which you can download from internet I'll try to find and give it later in the group uh, what is the win rate of tightness trading method uh, Sofian Ghani very good question um, um, I have not objectively measured the win rate of tightness trading system but I can tell you it's a lot it's 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 good you know a lot of almost 80 to 90 percent of successful traders have based their uh, have based their trading on this tightness uh, what Mark Minervini does is also tightness trading it's just his tightness is tightness decreasing from left to right from a larger enough base rather than two three days VCP trading is tightness trading what Kulamagi does tightness from flag breakout is also tightness trading what Pradeep Bonde does is entirely tightness trading so I'm sure you can go and uh, check for uh, the win rate uh, but uh, but take it from take it from examples of this past uh, and present um, amazing traders this 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 works Raveen, uh, thank you for the great session. You're welcome. With respect to uptrend, how did you conclude 20% value for comparing today's close with respect to previous 20% value? I don't understand this. How you run a backtest and what was the success ratio with the Swiss stock reserved post entering? Again, the same question which Sofian Ghani has asked. Uh, you might as well uh, uh, test this. You have the scanner. Um, I am not a tester. I, I, I don't have Amy Broker. And uh, objectively uh, testing it is also very uh, very difficult because there will be more stocks and uh, there will be more uh, manual work for me. So I haven't tested, but uh, you should you should give it a you should give it a shot. Tightness in demand zone uh, uh, means accumulation. Okay, noted. Thanks for the answer. I'm requesting you after tightness entry in point explain. Mm, not sure. Is this a question again? Uh, Soma Sekharji. Amazing tight session, Prakash. Thanks, Vikram. Uh, what's the difference between HDF found in red candlestick and uh, don't 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 get the question HDF found in red candlestick and that I don't I don't please uh, rephrase your question, Praveen. Entry point in this stocks, please, when it is breaking out of the tight zone. How to join your course? This is a great question. This is a question I like uh, most, Ashis. Um, go to uh, go to my uh, newsletter and then af at the end of each article you'll find how to join you can also uh, just uh, send me a whatsapp hi and then I'll let you know what is the correlation between uh, Bollinger Band and ATR uh, just just google this very simple things and I've already explained you uh, the correlation if any Ashish Ashish ji um, yeah this, this details are there in the in the in in the TTT and I'll let you know I'll find you and I'll message you off late lots of fake out stocks not sustaining on breakouts anything for that of course there is and then this 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 is basically system right so I'll quickly I'll quickly tell you why stocks are not uh, going so if you see I have a nifty 500 dashboard and uh, I don't run this tightness scanners because I already have a dashboard which shows me which are the very strong stocks in the nifty 500 and which stocks are tight on uh, 10, 10 day time frame, 20 day time frame. So if if anything is below three is very tight, 
in an intraday time frame anything below uh, 1 1.2 is very tight right i also have a system which tells you this wh when when to take a trade and that is based on momentum so if the momentum is decreasing you just don't ta take a trade the momentum has been decreasing since when it topped on june 8 since then it has been decreasing and decreasing and decreasing so so see there are some people who there are some people who uh, after looking at their watch list and their uh, and their holdings can very easily decide ki oh, oh, oh not a good time to take a trade i am not i am not one i am still a beginner slash intermediate trader and so i use my tools to tell me what to do so yes uh, Vikram, there is a system which uh, can tell you when to trade and when not to trade. In your scanner, could you add small notes on what does the scanner does? Uh, just because I don't want to take notes, uh, I, I gave a one hour uh, uh, amazing session in my opinion. So I hope you have taken that notes. Yes, Honda Power is also really good. Uh, which is better, ADX or ATF for finding tightness? Both equally works well, Hassan. Can you take a session for how to choose stocks for bearish markets as well? When we have bearish market, I will take that session, Ajay. Uh, both works well. Please publish some sessions on all stages of trading system. I think I already have uh, a lot of things on this, Prankur. Uh, but if there is not, let me know. I'll fill up the gaps. I know this is far-fetched. Can you give a bit go through of the scanner which part relate to which tightness? I think I've done that. Uh, Arkadeep, I think I've done that already. So. No sound, I'm not sure. Uh, Shrikant Gupta, thank you so much. Uh, what I was asking to detect an uptrend, what should be the difference between today's close with the previous day close in terms of value? So this is again, Praveen, good question, right? Uh, uh, this depends on what the general market is. So if I ask you if a stock on a 20 day time period, if it's giving you a 20% move, is that a strong stock for you? Objectively, the answer is yes, because 20 days, 20, 20 day 20% 20 move is really strong. Now, how is that strong? Because in general, in our market, that kind of move money is strong. If apparently, let's say you are trading a crypto market where 20 days, 20% 20 is normal, then that might not be uh, strong for you. That is why what you need is relative strength. And, and that is why you need something like this, a dashboard, wherein if you sort in the last 50 days, which are the stocks which did really well, you will know that Hindustan Copper did really bad, Infibeam did really bad, but which are the stocks that did really well? Cochin did the best, Mazdoc, Tejas, BDL, RM, Power India, Hinzing, Tejas, RVN, Pinkip. So this is an objective way of looking at the strongest stock. And that's why uh, the scanner falls short a little bit because the scanner cannot, uh, cannot, uh, what's the word, compare how much nifty 500 has moved as compared to how much your stock has moved so that's the only small thing um yeah but i think 20 for 20 is looks good 25 percent in 50 days also strong 50 percent in 100 days also strong 100 percent in 200 days is also strong i hope i hope that answers all of your questions praveen um thanks sk thanks bridge uh sagara's home i mean go google uh, ATR and ADR are not same ATR is average true range which, which takes care any gap movements but ADR will only give you the daily range so that's the difference we can see tight flags in a red candle as well as a green candle so what is this red and green is, is this a price candle or is this volume candle how to describe it quality to understand emotion of the world see one day red small red in a like one to two percent doesn't make any difference at all like stocks don't move every day you have to understand that how did you set target after breakout target can be set in two ways one is the the how much ever the tightness is it can go that uh, mostly there are flags the flag pole is also another way to uh, set a set a target but the best way to set a target is to have no target and follow the trend second best way to uh, uh, set up a target is to uh, de-risk your trade at a at a multiple of how much ever you risk so let's say if you risk uh, 20,000 in a trade if the trade is al already giving you 20,000 keep that 20,000 I mean not not everything but let's say 50% if it's giving you 40,000, 
इफ यू रेस्ट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ऑलमोस्ट टू टू आर सेल फिफ्टी परसेंट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पॉकेट में रेस्ट ट्वेंटी यू ट्रेड नो दीज आर दीज आर बेटर वेज देन थिंकिंग अबाउट टारगेट लाइक लाइक वन नंबर दैट डजन वर्क इन ए बुल मार्केट really appreciate your effort thanks for amazing session thanks shekhar really appreciate your kind words as well uh cheers vikram in tightness should we also follow sector rotation yes 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 you should mostly trade only stocks which are really uh coming from uh, strong groups and also has themes behind so for example defense theme um for example currently there is a theme of renewables solar uh there's a big theme of data center which might play out transformers these are the names you have to be in um that's one of my biggest learning in this uh, in this bull market and that's why if you see uh only three stocks i hold currently transformers techno electric jupiter all of them are themes related um railway big theme uh, data center big theme transformers big theme right so this is this is where you you build a system to uh just aggressively chuck out the stocks that will not give you super performance uh yes thanks braj for that question very very nice question ayappan sir thank you so much are you bengali no arkadeepta i understand bengali i have a lot of bengali friends i was forced to learn bengali in my graduate school because i had a lot of bengali uh classmates phd classmates and if two bengalis meet they will forget any other language so i had to pick up great insights have you been using uh, moving averages um, no not so much thank you please upload the to youtube okay i will try uh, price candle yes uh, pravin so uh, price candle like uh, here and there a red candle doesn't mean a thing like imagine imagine there is a red candle after a after a gap up and it still closes before previous day's close but just because it didn't close uh, higher than the open it will be red so that doesn't mean you have to objectively look at price uh, from a from a you know wholesome perspective and not just uh, based it upon the color um how do interpret market breadth a large session not possible here out of syllabus Hasan thank you so much uh, thanks Ajay Maz thanks bro uh, does the value of tightness decrease as we move to a yes of course we, of course it will uh, decrease right so i'll give you a quick example um so let's say on a 25 minutes time frame bharat rasayan is very tight on a 25 minute time frame because the tightness is 1.25 anything below 2 is tight right so if i if i open up bharat rasayan B H A R A T, Bharat Rasayan in a twenty-five minute time frame, which is my favorite intraday time frame. So Bharat Rasayan has been tight in this. Uh, I mean, uh, because because in intraday you will find a lot of like wicks, but let's say this is the tight zone. I am sure I will find a better uh, better intraday type chart. But if you see this, this tightness is oh, this is still four percent. uh let's 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 look at a smaller time frame triveni triveni 0.5 t r i v e n i um what is this triveni yeah so so possibly this this range this is a tight range on an intraday time frame right um and there is a bigger range here but this this on an intraday is also very tight so the range of this would definitely uh, decrease then anyways um 1.5 uh, there are there are there will be better examples i'm sure uh, but to answer your question yes ah uh, does the value of time uh, let's assume you have 10 uh, 10 stocks and time was going on is it true should we prioritize some movie weekly see prioritize uh, the stocks which are which which are market leaders which have highest higher relative strength in the time frame you trade so for example if you trade on intraday you don't have to look at stock which is uh, which is uh, very strong in 50 30 20 because intraday stock like if it is move 4% then the probability that it will move more is uh, increases right 
So in your time frame, it has to be uh, priorly strong. Uh, and then better also to see uh, the, the sector strength on that day. So for example, a quick example, uh, last uh, Friday, the uh, around 10, 20 or so, uh, uh, tire stocks mo started moving. Now, how did I know that? Because one of the HPA guys pointed out and I quickly looked at my system to see if this group strength is real, then I could see that two stocks were moving out. And then that then that will tell me that if there is a tight stock, tightness in these two stock or the other names in that stock, that uh, stock will have more priority, uh, probability to move up. So group strength is, is how you uh, prioritize the stock. Um, uh, Sofian Ghani asks, uh, suppose we get 30 stocks in Scanner, how to choose on the basis of, uh, I already answered this. Please share the link to enable it. Yes, I will do that. Currently, uh, I don't know where, so I haven't, I, I, but but I'll find it and give you. Thanks, Prakash, you giving me great insight. Now, khela hobe, hobe, hobe. Hotei lagbe. How uh, tightness using moving average consolidation? This, this also works, like for example, uh, this is uh, this is basically what uh, they call launchpad, and I have this in my system also. I'll I'll show you this. Um, so launchpad means if all the moving averages comes together uh, in you know in one like very near to each other. Okay, so so this is coded by MSQS MSQL. So anything where MSQS is around one you will find that the 10, 20 moving averages are very near. So for example, MSQS here, uh, Godrej, JCP, Sale, uh, Lalpath, uh, uh, let's, say, let's, let's say, let's just pick one. So let's say Godrej, JCP, G-O-D-R-E-J, Godrej consumer, go to daily chart. Come on, go to daily chart and then go to a moving average, you will see that the moving averages, the short term moving averages are lining up and flat. So this, if any moving average is flat, it'll tell you in that time frame that the stock has not been moving much, which in other word can tell you that, hey, in that time frame, because the moving average is flat, it is basically not giving that much uh, this one. So it's not basing properly, but it will not very uh, objectively tell you that it is like getting very tight. So you cannot put a, you cannot rank uh, uh, tightness using moving average. You can only qualitatively say that it's getting tight or not, okay? Um, and that is why I like whatever I showed you better than using moving averages. Uh, but people do use it. It's called the launch bed setup, I think popularized by uh, Ray from Trader Lion, where he looks at stock which is prior uptrend and has 10, 20, 50 moving averages like, you know, very close together. And uh, that is a setup. So it works. All right, I'm getting tired. Um, thanks for the session. Are big chances stock will fail breakout if it's some week before breakout? No, there are, it's this again, in my opinion, this is, this is also like a lot of bullshit. Uh, in my opinion, having a week inside the base just means that it was not ready yet. And after a bit more consolidation, after a bit more waiting for weekends to get out, the stock will might go more. The only thing it, you have to make sure is that the, the market conditions are all right. Now the market con conditions are, are, are like this now where the, where the you know, momentum of the market is uh, going down, then of course your trades will not work. But that doesn't mean that, that doesn't, that's not because there is a week. You see my point, there's a very, very small difference there. Like presence of wick is because of the market environment and the presence of wick doesn't mean that the stock will break down. If the market environment comes back, it'll break out. Cheers. Very, very important to uh, uh, get this very small, small details, okay? Um, who else? Uh, also, uh, also Madhu Sudan, I, there will be failing trades and that's why stop loss is there. That's why you have to like, you know, not lose more than one person in a single trade. Why as traders, we are hell bent on having 100% successful trades? Not good. 
I want to discuss something in private, can you share your email ID or should I drop you a message over Twitter? Anything is fine, brother. I wish this is in relation to running back. Sure, sure. Uh, but what if you uh, stacked up? Yes, uh, just discuss that. It works. Can you suggest some books reading tightness? Um, I don't know any such book reading on tightness. Uh, I hope it's nice background. Thank you. Relative strength should compare. Uh, should compare whichever you think is a good uh, good benchmark. If you think Nifty 50 is a good good benchmark, you you compare it with Nifty. If you think BSE 200 is a good benchmark, you compare it with BSE. If you think 500 is a good benchmark, you you compare it with 500. If you only trade Nifty 50 stocks, for example, let's say your trading system allows you to only trade Nifty 50 stocks, um, you can just Compare it to Nifty 50 because that's your benchmark. You just want stocks which are outperforming the your your trade your group, right? So that's how you choose. Um, happy have to leave now. Thanks for thanks Arpan for dropping by. Trust we get in a link to the recording. I hopes I'm not sure about that. Cheers. Okay, now if there are still questions left. Um, if there are still questions left, please uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, dear Abit, I'm really happy to uh, talk about anticipation inside the base, but not in this session. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll take some questions. Maz, uh, Satyam, please go ahead. Satyam, you might have yourself muted there. Satyam ji, please go ahead with your question. Okay, either you are mute or I'm unable to hear. Yes, Satyam ji. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, can you hear me? Yes, I, I, I had a, I had switched it off. Sorry. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for the nice session. Cheers. Uh, I, I wanted to know that when you see tightness in scanner, you you are uh, scanning for the best setup. Right. Do you also see the extension in that time frame, like in a daily, if suppose the stock is extended, how does it uh, affect your decision to enter the stock and how does it affect your position size and how do you see the extension? Hmm. This is a very good question. Uh, yes, um, the extendedness of stocks matter, but uh, we have to we have to think about it in little a little more carefully. Just because a stock is extended doesn't mean after a couple of days of tightness it cannot extend more. We have to. There are two factors in play. One is how extended and how strong the stock and sector is, right? So, for example, if you take any uh, our defense names right now, they all might look extended to you. Uh, but if such a strong uh, stock uh, from such a strong sector does uh, uh, get tight, then of course uh, those names will be in the high, top of my priority list. Uh, then the next question, how I uh, look at uh, tightness is again, I have a very objective way of looking at tightness because I my feels are not that great uh, till now. So how I look for uh, tightness is basically, I have a, I mean the, my, uh, the, the, the Kilawe scanner has something called extension for 20 SMA, okay? So if the, if the stock extends from 20 SMA, uh, more than six X its ADR, then I believe a stock uh, get, gets extended. So, so for example, uh, let me take you to, to some charts, let's say, let's say defense charts. Uh, I hope there are some, some names which have this. Okay, so here, so this, this yellow dot indicator is my uh, uh, extension indicator. So whenever, that criteria fulfills, which I just told you, 6x or 7x, I'm not exactly sure currently, uh, extended from the 20 day SMA, then this uh, fires. So as this fires, the probability of the stock to base becomes better. So if you, you see that the fires and then it based, fired and then it based for a couple of days. So so for example, Aventel started firing from here and then it, it did extend for two more days and then it based. Um, Tanija may nahi fire kiya. Uh, some, some more example I'd like to show uh, if there is 
yeah so bdl started firing here again this is not like a, a if 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 extension aya that means you have to uh you have to cut the trade it just means that it is getting more and more extended and and uh, and your your gains might not uh, move up uh, uh, more now um so that is basically so you see paras very nicely on this day you had an extended extended but but being said that now just because paras had been extended here does it mean that when it breaks out from this uh, area i will not trade uh, quite the opposite actually because i know that paras already has such a good strength it has such a tight price action such nice tightness in volume also one of the highest volumes ever in the in the flag poll i know that this this people who entered here is not you and me uh these are institutions so so this will this will be in my top priority list i hope i answered your question okay thank you cheers mas go ahead uh let me quickly grab some water uh, dear mas go ahead uh thank you for the session uh, bye question uh, ho gaya complete uh, i already asked in the chat okay great cheers man thanks thanks for dropping by all right folks more questions on tightness because if there are any more i'll be very disappointed bye bye oh one thing hello hi hi kartik hello uh, hi prakash uh, uh, thank you for the session i joined late uh, yeah but you see uh, there are uh, uh, when there is a i see there is there are some gaps while uh, you know while starting the stock market up for that day so will it feel doing uh, like uh, see as some stocks uh, you know even <clears throat> if it has a strong trend as well uh, uh, when i see the gap uh, i am just uh, leaving the stock uh, and then just searching for other one i'm not sure because uh, if it is going to fill next day if i enter that's what my question uh, or when it is going to fill uh, or how to keep the stop loss there hmm. right this is a very good question um might not be entirely on tightness but i'll still uh, try to quickly answer it, answer this see uh, gaps can be traded uh, there are so many people who only trade gaps the idea is to deep dive on how gaps behave uh the idea is to you know study the gaps so carefully to find to find price action which will give you an edge uh which will say that okay probabilistically because this gap is this str much strong coming from this sector has a has a catalyst like this uh, this news this earnings this some change you know this is basically called uh, episodic pivot um so if you uh, deep dive on uh, on those uh, then you will uh, already find that this gap actually has more propensity to go up than fill that's that's number 1 the second thing is uh, the second thing is even after a gap uh, happens there are three technical ways to enter the one way to enter is as soon as the gap uh, comes and then it becomes a thing of probability ki okay if it comes down and hits a stop loss or not that's number one way to a uh, way to trade a gap and for that if you deep dive which gaps will follow up that will help okay i don't know exactly i'm not a gap expert uh, but go check out uh, episode if you're gap trading from uh, stock b and there are a lot of other indian traders as well uh, uh, so the second thing is if the gap day high is taken out that's another entry so if you are not very comfortable trading gap on that day you can wait for that entry the second the third entry which i like is if the gap comes back touches the low of the gap day and then on forms a tight area on the intraday pivot that entry is really better i will show you one one such entry in a stock which uh, uh, i did not trade but i was closely following um jnk india so i'll give you an example here so jnk india gapped up here and i have a gap scanner uh, gap scanner uh, i i have a gap scanner got tgp and they basically uh, catch stocks like this and once once this guy uh, uh, did break out on a intraday time frame it actually came back 
it actually came back and retested that gap, okay? Uh, here. Here. So this was, this was the like sort of uh, gapped up, uh, came to the low and when, when this tightness was uh, going out, you could have traded here. Actually, I traded this intraday, uh, I, I entered here. Okay, so this is one way to trade a gap. So let's say again, same because it's a tightness, uh, this one. So let's say if you had uh, entered on this candle, then objectively your stop loss would have been here. Like, your okay. stop loss could have been like smaller 2%, right? So okay. You will not have uh, all the all the gaps uh, working out, but you still have a smaller stop loss. If you had traded here, because I traded this intraday, my possibly my stop loss was here. A uh, lot of people, yeah. So this is another way to trade a gap, and this is the most uh, uh, the way which I which I like the most. Okay. Hi, Prakash. Uh, hello. Hi, Prakash. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes, go ahead with the question. Thank you for this session, Prakash. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, you said that uh, the width and the Bollinger band width and ATR are inversely proportional. So, can did, you... I, did I say that? Uh, yes. So, what should be the ideal ratio? I mean, it should be... Uh, uh, two. The ideal, ideal tightness is two. So if it's tighter than two, then it's tight. It's uh, smaller than two, then it's tight. Smaller than two is tight. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Prakash. You're welcome. Uh, hi, uh, Prakash. Uh, hi. To tell, I mean, before I ask you a question, uh, uh, let me tell you my background. I'm kind of investor who uh, waits uh, for a uh, stock to go up and uh, like I invest when it's low and wait till it goes up. So I'm new in swing trading. So pardon me if my question sounds new. Uh, so uh, you have already partly answered my question. So what, how these uh, scenario work in the bear market? So how, or how do you deal with it uh, when, any, when things start uh, hitting more stop losses because they break out and then come down or uh, now when it's bare, everything is a good issue, everything is moving up, but when it's a bear market, a lot of things start coming down. So how do you deal with it when you stay away from the market or still go on with it or go with the best ones or how do you deal with it? Yeah, thanks Ashish, uh, thanks for sharing. And uh, uh, I am a very new investor in the market. Uh, I don't have quite a lot of experience in the, in the bear market. I have uh, some experience in 2020 trading uh, and I and I was still trading uh, the the stocks uh, towards the upside. I was still trading uh, bullish uh, setups. Uh, the best way to uh, play a bull market or bear market is to possibly uh, stay away from the market. In my opinion, now how how possible that is emotionally for some of us, I'm not sure. I think that will get better with time. Uh, the second way to trade uh, on a bullish market is to possibly short stocks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hops, go ahead. Yeah, uh, you you just alluded to a ratio of two of tightness. Mm -hmm. uh, it was asked by one of the members. Can you allude to it again? I have not understood the inverse relation of the ATR and the Bollinger Band. Thanks. Sure. Let's let's show you a couple of examples. Thanks. Uh, all right. Um, okay. Let me go to my my list. So I am very interested in RCF right now. Okay. Uh, maybe RCF is not a great one. Let's say Hitachi. Hmm? Okay, so this this Hitachi, I was interested somewhere here because it was getting tight. Okay, I also posted this on Twitter. 
uh, a lot. Now, what I'll do is I will put on something called a. Uh, uh, I'll put on the. Ayo, I'll put on the Bollinger band. Uh, just uh, I'll put the end game indicator and uh, wait for a moment. Come on. Uh, okay, uh, it's coming up. Okay, so in here, what you can see is that there is there is this Bollinger band. Okay. Praveen, can you see this? Ah, uh, sorry, yes. iHomes, can you see this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you remove, can you, could you remove your uh, watch lips if you get a little better to see? Okay, because, we'll do that. Yeah. Please make it a little darker. Ah, yeah, okay. yeah. This is better, yeah, now huh? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so sure. Now, Thank now you. let me do this. Uh, let me uh, show you this part only where I was interested, okay? So now if you see, here, if we go thoda sa aage, uh, haan, tak, hai? now you see, I will show you what is the Bollinger band width. Now what is the Bollinger band width? Bollinger band width is the width of from the upper Bollinger band to the lower Bollinger band. Hai na? So what is the width percent? Width percent is 12.8%. Correct? Yeah. Correct. Now, Correct. Now, let's see what is the ATR. ATR is 6%, correct? Yeah. So what is the ratio between Bollinger band width and ATR? It's around two. Two. Right? Right. Yeah, yeah. so any, so, so, so because it is tight, the ratio becomes smaller and smaller. Now let's look at an area where it is not very tight. So for example, here is not very tight because it is, and mind you, what I'm showing you is 20 day ATR. So by in a 20 day tightness, what, what you will get is a tightness in a 20 day time frame. Okay. Uh, 20 day candle uh, voila thing. So when it's already in an uptrend, what will happen is the Bollinger band width will be higher. So let's say in during this time, the, when, when they already expanded, the Bollinger band width is 30% and the Bollinger band uh, sorry, and the ATR during this time would be 5 point something percent. Okay, now 30 divided by 5 is what? 6. So the ratio here is 6, the ratio here yeah. is 2. Okay, anytime it slides past 2, it means that at that time frame, it's a really good tightness. So that is why Bollinger, they are inversely proportional. Does this make sense? Yeah, okay. So also what setting do you use for your Bollinger? The standard 22? Standard 20, yeah. And your ATR is a 14 day? ATR also, sh you should also use the standard, uh, this one. Uh, 14? Yes. So whichever time frame you're using in the Bollinger, you should also use the same time frame in the ATR. So 20? I mean, if your Bollinger is 20, you use 20. If your Bollinger is 10, you use 10. Same time frame for both. Yes. Got it. Thanks. Cool. Cheers, man. Thanks for so the question. More the ratio, less is the tighter. Right? Of course. Of course. And that's the whole essence of Carter Carter's uh, uh, trading system. Uh, Carter squeeze. Uh, so if it is more less than two, that's the highest squeeze. If it is uh, around 2.5, it's a medium color. If it is like less than three, it's like mildly uh, mildly uh, mildly tight and you can also use uh, uh, you can also use trading view indicators which uh, does this thing so for example uh, I must have a TDM pro squeeze there is an indicator called TDM pro squeeze so if this is like yellow that means that it is really tight so here is the squeeze scanner uh, uh, squeeze indicator so whenever this is this is yellow, this this is yellow, it means that the Bollinger band that the ratio is below two. Okay. Whenever it is red, it is I think the ratio is below two point five. Whenever it is it is black, the ratio is like below three. Whenever it is green, there is no tightness. Okay. So 
So you can find this uh, readily available on the internet. I think it's called TTM Squeeze Pro by DRD Fred. Thank you, Prakash. You're welcome, Shwetal. Thank you for patiently explaining the concept. Of course, man. That's my job. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, more questions, if any. All right, guys. Um, I think there are no more questions. And uh, so let's close the session. Uh, let's close the session on the, this note. Uh, tightness matters, but it's not something which absolutely without that you can't make money. Uh, scanners makes life easy. It's not something which will absolutely make you money. They are overrated. Why they are overrated? Because what makes money is having a system. There are multiple ways to that leads to the same uh, uh, city. All, all roads lead to Rome, uh, but all those roads will have a system. Okay, system is very personal to you. No two traders will have the same upbringing, same emotion, same environmental conditions, same money. And uh, so, uh, not sure I hopes. Uh, trading view is, is a, trading view has scanner software. I don't know how to use it. Okay, getting back to the system. Uh, if you don't have a system, you probably will still make money, but you will not make consistent money. It's okay to have a system which you cannot explain it to others because system is very personal, but putting, trying as much as possible to explain your system will to yourself will increase your trading, will make you a better person altogether. And so, have a system okay on that note i will probably do these weekend sessions um in, in next next couple of weeks as well i have some time in my hands and uh, i'm also preparing for my annual sakadas home mass trading master class which happens once a year that's gonna happen on july sometime mid july mid july late july so if you guys want to hear more uh, on systems and what is my system and how you can design a system for yourself, I highly recommend you join that course. It's a very cheap course. It's a value for money. Take my word for it. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining. Have a good weekend. Congratulations, champions. Bye-bye. Thank you, Prakash.